Man, too many dr- Korean drama for me, man. All these CEOs, all Korean CEO. All right, so uh, in all Korean movies, sometimes they say, or most of the time they say, Hachima, don't do it, Hachima. I could be wrong. And then now, I don't want him to go. Hachima, don't go. <laughs> uh, don't tell any his fan that um, fans that he's my oppa. Now nah, I'm joking, but he's my oppa. Okay. Shh. Um. This is long time ago, back in like 2000, what, 8 or 9. I was introduced um, to him uh, by my Jingu. And you were like, what the hell is Jingu? Friend. It means friend in uh, Korean. Because um, every time you watch, or every time I watch uh, Korean drama, they always have Jingu. I don't, uh, and then all uh, the Hachima. And then, and then they would like bow, right? And then they say, uh, Anya Hasio. And then, um, and oh yeah, Kamsamida for thank you. I think that's how you said thank you, right? Kamsamida or all that, da, whatever. But um, I, I haven't, what got me watching, I, I was thinking, what got me watching Korean drama? And there was one, one of my favorite of all Korean drama, um, I, st- I would still refer back to it because it has beautiful ending, right? Uh, but in the beginning, it was terrible, right? Like, uh, it's called Creating Destiny. And it was the main character. He's like uh, a doctor. And this uh, uh, girl, um, she's basically, she she wanted to be a lawyer, but but she have like a Western boyfriend or you know um, or gaijin or white boyfriend, uh, whatever you want to call it. And so, but um, but the doctor didn't uh, uh, was it their family try to do like arranged marriage. Um, at first, um, he didn't he uh, didn't want to see her right because he, toward the like uh, longer episode, it, it will tell you why because you know. Um, he was waiting for someone that he loved, but uh, at first um, they were kind of uh, fighting with each other or rude, whatever. But along the way, they fell in love because they created this weird fake uh, dates, and then uh, they end up falling in love because they didn't like uh, like each other at first. But they start falling. Um, that's one of the thing that I disagree with uh, the one because um, I was listening to. Uh, the actor uh, that play in Lex Luthor, he say he would never date anyone in the acting career, but in the Korean, um, the this drama, the Korean Destiny, the uh, main character and the the girl that uh, they play with each other, or act with each other or cast whatever, um, in real life they become uh, husband and wife, and I, I was like, oh. That's pretty cool. I mean, he's hot, like, like he's hot. Like the doctor that played, he's hot. Okay, and the girl is also had like two. Uh, okay, never mind. I'm, I'm getting off. Anyway, let's talk about this guy. His name is Tai Young, right? Now he's hot. And then uh, my Tingu, right, uh, introduced to me back in when I was, uh, we were in high school, and I remember uh, he showed me uh, his music, and it was on YouTube, and it was a shit. Remember back then, it was a shitty ass fucking graphic, uh, with YouTube shit. And then I remember we we it wasn't we didn't had a laptop, but we had like a computer, uh, a screen. And then I would like play uh Ty Young in the background prayer. Let me say uh oh. And then they have uh, uh I remember they also as um we listened to what was it, uh wedding dress. Man, wedding dress has a lot of different version, right, they have Vietnamese one, they have create people created, they have uh, Nepali, they have uh, was it Chinese, they have uh, do they have of course they have Korean, but wedding dress became really big now, I love Tai Young, right, for his the way that his different uh, his style and his uh, dancing, now it really pissed me off, that every time I try to find a good 
a piece of information or an interview so I can bring forth um, the creation in my YouTube channel because I wanted to not only bring just um, the Asian side but different type of culture in it uh, side because uh, why not it's this is how I got introduced to k-pop right uh, and so his name is Don Yonbe. I don't even know how to say that, so I'm like, I might kill his name, just so don't kill me. Be, begin training, uh, be, uh, begin training in under a YG Entertainment at the age of 12. Member of the uh, South Korean uh, boy band, uh, Big Bang. Now I didn't get into Big Bang till later after, but I only know him. Uh, uh, became one of the best-selling digital group of all time in Asia. Uh, his uh, he got influenced by uh, uh, Michael Jackson. So first contact with music was playing piano. When his family began struggling financially, Dong felt the need to find a job to help support uh, them at a young age. Taeyong stand out how serious he is uh, about his craft and artist. Uh, like anything that we do. Uh, we should be serious and develop the great, uh, what was it, to develop our craft, right? But also, I think we should have fun, too. I think that um, we're, what was it? I was watching a romantic uh, movie. Uh, it was around, like, an Indian guy trying to uh, find, or was it, get married or something? And then his father said, live a little, right? What happened in the end of our life, we don't live a little, or we should live a little. Uh, we should live according to our heart or beat, whatever. And what, but the thing is, what end up happening is we don't live according to our own music within us, right? Tai Young, right? He live, he 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 live uh, his own uh, beating of his own song, right? Meaning that he he create, he's an artist, so. If we're to live a meaningful life, we need to create uh, the creation within our own heart and produce that to the outer world. Because that ultimately, that's what, well, I don't know what people want anyway, but what I want is to create what's meaningful to me and to put forth something that uh, I truly care about, to, to change something that can be changed, to change something that... Um, uh, should be changed, and that that's what your uh, that should be serious, and that should develop the skills and the craft to be good at something that you care about. Because if you truly care about it, you're gonna get be, uh, you want to become good at what you do. And as he get older or something, he say keep things simple, right? And I noticed that. Uh, in the world, for me, in person, whatever, law of attraction, spirituality, we're looking all these um, uh, shiny knowledge, right? Or shiny whatever. And we think that this will be the way to achieve nirvana or achieve enlightenment or achieve this thing that we're looking for, uh, this high bliss. And we're never, And we're never going to find it. It never... It never ends. I think that too many people think uh, that just because you know the spiritual aspect of life doesn't mean that uh, it will always be uh, bliss and uh, happiness. There will be time that um, something go eerie. And the reason why it go eerie is because we tend to not keep things uh, simple. We keep things complicated. Now, I was reading uh, The Art of Not Giving a f uh, Fuck, and he was talking about during the great, f uh, the great moments, um, we don't, uh, during the, I forgot what it was to say, during the worst moment, we are growing and uh, we, we push ourselves, while the good moments, we don't do that, um, but you gotta keep things simple. Um, uh, that's why I like uh, Win Chun. Uh, the reason why I like Wing Chun is because I feel like uh, every time I learn like the Kung Fu form, uh, I like like the Kung Fu forms 
uh, of other uh, styles, they're like they have flashiness within them, right? Um, but Win Chun is simple. Like I like Tiger Claw, right? I like uh, flashy stuff, but I remember I was young, around like 20, and I wanted to keep simple, right? Because it's like so much energy that's putting forth, right? And as you grow older, your brain, your body are trying to conserve that energy. That's why uh, you don't want to spend so much energy because it takes so much energy. Like your brain, like, eat up a lot of energy. They say, what, 20%? I don't remember. But it still need energy. And so, because as the, what was it? When I was younger, like around 19, I would like go da 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 energy. But I wanted to find a way that is simple. So Wen Chun is simple. That's keeping it simple. It's beauty. It's not just in, uh, you know, standing and just, you know, doing um, the uh, the first form of Wen Chun. But it's simplistic, right? So keep it simple. It's just like how... People in uh, the law of attraction community or the spiritual community, they're looking for the complex things, right? That's why uh, if you see a lot of reviews on Abraham Hicks, they say, oh, it says the same thing. And what end up happening is they're looking for the complex things. And so what often happens is they're not um, using uh, what they learn and know. So you have to apply the simple things in life. Um uh, um, and also he said, but as an artist, the only way to improve myself were to leave this place. That I welcomed that idea. I was watching Jet Li, The Fist of Legend. Um, it, the the he was fighting a Japanese master, right? And he said this: that if you can adapt. You'd be unstoppable. And and he also said a Japanese uh, proverb. He said, experience should fear uh, the uh, you, uh, strength of youth or something. That if, if I'm not careful, one day someone younger than me will destroy me because of their passion. Right? But also... Um, this come to mind is that if we're not able to adapt, we will tend to cling to thing that used to work. So what end up happening in the industry of my industry or a personal development or the law of attraction or spiritual, they cling to ideas that um, because it's so marketed and so promoted, it's uh, seep into their people's subconscious and they believe that without questioning is it true without questioning because they don't have enough repetition experience so or seeing patterns they end up thinking that might be the truth but what end up happening if it cloud their judgment and they're not going to the direction of their whatever dreams they should question if this right so remember this i'm going to say it again that you must adapt to the time has changed if you don't adapt you will die but if you adapt, you will be unstoppable for any eon to come. And when he create music, uh, it's able to relate uh, to uh, the fans or genuine is most important. See, any content, any video, anything that you try to do or I must be able to connect with you at some level or connect with you so it can resonate with you because otherwise if i tell you all the things that i'm not going through like uh, everything is perfect and fine i cannot connect with you with the audience or I, um, because in our life in any um his fan life they have uh, difficulty right and that he need to like if you listen to wedding dress it can it actually connect with some people because it's um maybe some people are going through that Right, and any piece of work that you need to do, be able to connect the person with, so it it can feel like they're close to you. That you're not just this uh, person, but you're like a real person to them. And it all, it's often helped to tell your story to if you want to make an impact to reach the person 
that you're trying to reach is that, hey, I'm just like you. Um, uh, and then uh, toward the end, he said, I, th uh, I think that what's truly important is the ability to have the people around me. Even if you have the talent, without help of genuine good-hearted people, that light can't shine for long. So you're a light, right? You're a hope of or whatever you're trying to do, inspire, uplift, and motivate. Um, great people surround themselves or great talent people are surround themselves with people who can help them shine because we can't do it alone. Um, one day, we need help too. But we can't because we try to because if we don't get help, we oftentimes uh, we we drown, right? We drown. So if we if we have so much, we will drown, and we need people to support because um, we can't become successful or we can't do this by ourselves. We need people. It's okay to ask for help. Um, and then he always said, Ta Young said, I want to grow to become a better and more mature person. And as you uh, develop your craft uh, the things that you do will change you're not going to end up when you're starting your journey you're not going to end up uh, with the same product you're going to end up a different version of that product because you changes and you uh, pivot you you um, you who you are as a person like I think that there is a core value the core things that people value will never change right but the things that do constantly change is the ideas and knowledge and who you will become. And somehow we have to merge this together. And I wish that, you know, people, I wish that people who interview uh, celebrities, they need to ask something that make a connection with people or inspire and uplift people to do great things. It pissed me off that most of the time I I watch these videos I was like bro you're not talking you're it's cool you talk about the um artist music whatever but you're not talking about the deeper things that um connect the fans right to that connect so the fans would live their dreams instead of um living a mediocre life right that would make me piss like it doesn't like I try to um like get like for instance for example I want it to put a uh, content of Wu Jing, right? If you don't know who Wu Jing is, he's a uh, actor and he's great. Uh, he was uh, in SPL. Um, uh, and with uh, what was it? SPL with Donnie Yen and Sammo Hong, right? It pissed me off that I can't find a good interview or a piece of information that's inspirational. Now. I want to tell you a story back in the day when I was working at Japanese Sakura. Uh, they have lots of uh, Korean uh, chef. And one of the chef, is, his name is Yong, Mr. Yong. And I would call him Mr. Yong. He was about like 50. And, man, I was like, what, 19 or 20 at the time. So I would talk to him. Man, it would, some sometimes it would be funny. Sometimes it would be weird as hell. <laughs> And so I remember one time when he came back from uh, cooking the the hibachi or the cooking for the customer, and he would tell me, or maybe he start going out to get the customer, I don't uh, to make the customer food or something. I don't remember, but he told me this. It's funny as hell. I mean, I, I think it was weird, but uh, it was funny. So he said this. You um, they would have like a big uh, tank of miso soup, and he's like, yeah. I, that's my piss in there. I was like, God damn, the whole time though? The whole time we've been drinking your goddamn piss? God damn it, Mr. Young! Why, why you do this to me? And I remember back in the day, uh, we would talk about uh, what music we listened to. And he, he, he know about all the other things. He talked about um, what music... Because uh, um, I used to, when I was working there, I used to listen to a lot of uh, K-pop. Um, or But also at the time, I was listening to really sad music anyway um they have they used to have really big uh i don't know what happened to them girl generation they they have really good music um but i don't know what happened to them so now 
I listen to is uh, EXO, uh, but I listen to what's his name? I can't remember. Um, so many artists out there that are good, but uh, oh yeah, um, uh, th- they became they became famous now. BTS. I remember I used to listen to BTS uh, back when they didn't become very popular. Uh, Saving me it was a great one, but that's pretty much it. So uh, I-, I believe that um, anybody can become successful. Just in their own uh, creation, because if they become successful and not in their own creation, they will be unhappy. That's pretty much my thoughts today. Bye-bye.